If you want to support the channel and get some free stocks, use the Moomoo link in the top comment. But I got to talk to you about Stressler, aka Tesla. They got some news coming out that many of the investors are up on, but a lot of the people who are very casual, they haven't heard about this. The first thing is Tesla is going to slash the Model Y inventory prices by $7,000. Now, that's extremely significant. Imagine you was going to buy a car and then you went and got a $7,000 discount on it because instead of making it yourself when you go to the tesla website they ask you what kind of car do you want do you want a model s a model e a model x a model y how do you want it but if you pick one that they already made that they couldn't sell you get a seven thousand dollar discount on a model y that's crazy and we want to see if this helps them to get them off of the lot now i showed this on a private live stream recently but i want you to actually google ev graveyards so there are a lot of electric vehicles that are just sitting on a lot and they're basically costing these companies money because they made cars that they just can't sell. And Tesla is trying to get rid of all of them. They got about 60,000 of them that they made this year that are just sitting down on the lots. And a lot of the haters and naysayers, they are trying to use this against Tesla, but Tesla is actually gonna use this opportunity to see how they can get rid of these cars and make some money off of them. So another thing, big piece of news for Tesla is one of the most major news that they announced and shout out to Elon for actually saying this because he's trying to show the people that Tesla still make a lot of sense to have for a long-term company. Now, I do want to say I can't tell you what to buy, hold, or sell, but I've been making a whole lot of money with these, and I want you to stay informed and be prepared and not surprised. What are the five Ps? Proper preparation prevents poor performance. Now, Investopedia posted this, but a lot of other articles did as well. Elon Musk said that Tesla will unveil the robo taxi in August of 2024. Why is this important? Because robo taxis are supposed to be like this. Have you ever seen, and if you've been to Texas or Los Angeles, you've definitely seen this, cars on the streets driving themselves. This is like a car, no driver, no passenger, just cameras all around it, and they're getting used to how it is to drive without people in the cars. Why is this important? because there's gonna be a time where Tesla is gonna be able to flip a switch basically and have all of their cars now be robotic taxis that could be like a Uber, except it can take you there without the Uber driver. Now, we wanna see how this rollout is gonna be and what Elon has to say about this, because this is gonna be a whole nother revenue stream for not only Tesla, but it's gonna incentivize people who have Teslas to kind of start their own businesses from home as a side hustle. So imagine that your Tesla was just gonna be sitting in your garage or just sitting in your driveway or sitting in a parking lot and you ain't using it and they could go out there and make money for you and then you gotta split the money just like how I gotta split money with YouTube, how they get a split and then I get a split. Well, if I had a Tesla sitting in my garage, a Tesla sitting on my lot that I'm not using, a Tesla sitting in front of my house and now this thing could go out there and make me, let's say $500 on a weekend and then I gotta send Tesla 100 and I get to keep the rest of the 400. Oh, now I'm incentivized to say, yo, what if I had a whole nother Tesla? And next thing you know, people are using this to create businesses for themselves because now they got 10 Teslas, like a fleet of Teslas that are out driving people around, right? So I want you to understand that this is an opportunity for Tesla to make more money because it incentivizes people to actually start businesses just like people who are riding Uber, except without the Uber driver. Remember, you might be against it. Oh man, they taking a driver, the Uber driver's jobs, family is just the way the world works. You gotta get down with innovation or you're gonna get left in the dust. And a lot of companies suffer from that. Remember the company, what, what were they called? Blockbuster, they had the opportunity and this is like a movie company where you could go and buy like cassettes and DVDs and things like that. They had opportunity to get in with Netflix and even buy it, didn't take it. And now Netflix basically put them out of business. You got to get down and understand innovation and adaptation in the market and in the world so that you can make money with it rather than losing everything you have. So we want to look out for that. The date for the RoboTaxi announcement, according to Elon, is just an announcement. Not that they're going to roll it out, but August 8th. 8th and I'll keep you up to date on that make sure you like and subscribe so we can see exactly how we can make some bread with that now we got another article that was about Tesla that came out and it was perceived as slanderous right and it's from Reuters Reuters is one of the top stock market kind of news outlets right like a Bloomberg like a Wall Street Journal like Reuters and Reuters they said this Tesla 
And again, allegedly, supposedly, hypothetically, right? Nobody's trying to get sued. But they said this. Tesla canceled his long-term plans for the inexpensive electric car, according to Reuters. And they said this on Friday. Now, understand, people who get cars who are like just using them to go to work, they might go out and buy a Toyota, right? They might go out and buy like a Dodge or something like that, right? They might go out and buy a Honda. But they're not really looking for these more high-end kind of cars or luxury kind of cars like a BMW or a Benz or even a Tesla, for example, because they just trying to use it to go to work. But Tesla, what they're saying is they're looking to make, and it was calling it the Model 2. This is the slang word for it or the word on the internet for it because they got the Model 3. But they're saying, no, the Model 2. Instead of spending 50000 on a car, you could spend 20000 and 25000 And the average everyday mom, soccer mom, the average every everyday kind of dad who's just trying to go to his blue collar job and go to work, they would be more likely to be able to buy this one because it would be in a price range. And now Reuters came out with an article allegedly saying that, Psh, nah, they cut it. They ain't doing it. So they canceled a plan on that. But your boy Elon Musk, nope, you know he owned Twitter, aka X now. He came out and said, Reuters is lying again. We did not scrap the low cost car plans. So why is that important? Because it just goes to show you that you always got to check the source and you always got to make sure that a lot of these things make sense or do they not make any sense. And I want to say that to say shout out to Elon for saying this because it's telling us that they still want a more affordable Tesla. And keep in mind, when you go out and look on the road, you might see some BMWs, you might see a Rolls Royce, you might see a Lamborghini, but you're going to see a lot of Hondas, you're going to see a lot of you know, Toyotas, you're going to see a lot of average everyday kind of cars for average everyday families that they could use and afford, you're going to see that much more than you see these luxury kind of cars. So now if Elon Musk could transition Tesla to have the luxury kind of cars that cost 50000 100000 140000 but also an everyday kind of car, this could ramp up how many Teslas are on the road and how many sales and how much revenue and earnings Tesla can make and turn it up to a whole nother level, especially pairing that with the robo taxi. So keep your eye on that. But even with all of this said, that don't mean going YOLO your whole account in the Tesla and put everything you have in the Tesla. You still got to make sure that you're paying attention to what's going on with it. Because again, it's a company like all the other companies, family and companies can go out of business. Companies can ramp up. You got to understand it before you invest in it. And this is why I'm trying to bring it to you real and raw straight up right here. So let's go and see how the big dogs is playing it. I go through the Moomoo app and I go to options and then I go to unusual activity. And, and here I can see for free how the institutions are playing with the millions of dollars and billions of dollars. So there's two ways that they're doing it. The first thing is they're buying put options, but they're not buying a lot. When you buy a put option, for those of you that don't know, it means you basically saying you think it's going to come down. But another thing that they're doing and they're doing more of this is they are selling put options. When you're selling put options, and this is most of them that I'm looking at, the unusual activity. And those of you who are Moomoo like this, you already know what time, but you go look it up yourself for April 5th. They're selling put options, meaning they're saying people think it's going to come down, but we don't. So the institutions are telling us that Tesla, at least in the short term, is bottoming out at the current levels, a.k.a. around the 160s, around the 170s. They're saying that it's bottoming out and they don't anticipate it short term to fall significantly. Now, more medium term or long term, it could fall down more than that. But in the shorter term, they're seeing some stability and actually they're causing it. And we can see how they're causing it with these options that they are selling. So now I want you to keep your eye on some levels on Tesla. The first one is about one hundred and sixty dollars, one hundred and sixty four to be specific because it's hitting this level. And then when it hits that level, it's tend to like kind of bounce back up. So we want to see, can we maintain and not fall into the 150s? Because at that point, it's very likely to go to 153, which if we break under 153, then I can see it coming down to like 110, if not even 105. So I say that to not to scare you, but to prepare you. So I'm gonna do a video soon on Solana because we've been killing it with that. And it's actually getting back into a buy range. And I'm gonna do a video also on a few other ones, family. Make sure you like and subscribe so you can catch those. And let's keep killing it on the market. Again, download the Moomoo link if you want to support the channel and get some free stocks. Go and put $100 in your account so they can send you some free stocks and get you access to this information. And then I see you over on KGU for the classes and the live trades. I love y'all. Hit the like button and show your boy some love. And I see you in the next one. Take care.
And have a great weekend, family. It's a beautiful day. I dropped the mic again like last time. Hopefully I ain't burst your ears out. You know my bad. I got y'all. Take care.